everybody. Hey, handsome, how are you? That's good to see you. I wanted to come out to the barn and just hang out a little bit. It's been some intense weeks, hasn't it? Hasn't it been? It's been some pretty intense weeks trying to deal with the stay in quarantine, all that craziness. It's been it's been rough. It's been a rough few weeks and um, working with the horses has been I think the best thing for me and I think for them too. Yeah. Cuz I get to be home now. I usually am not home. I'm usually on the road working with clients. And so this has been a real uh, gracious time to spend with the horses, with Paco and with Noodles, Benny. I call him Noodles, Benny the Noodle. Hi, Noodles. And we've had um, a wonderful time spent with Nako's horses, Foxy and Jet. Foxy has... Um, had some recent lessons. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> so Foxy, Nako's horse, Mr. Magic Pants, he and I have had a couple of lessons these last few days. Oh, big yawns, that's good. Lots of processing we've been doing together. Uh, Fox's issue has been trust in the human herd. That's right, yeah. And so I come over here and what does he do? He processes. We've been working on helping him uh, connect with the human herd and for him to trust. It's been, it's been some time for him. He's been a very independent horse, strong-willed on his own pretty much, kind of the boss of everybody. And uh, that has been evident on trail rides because this guy uh, won't listen to his rider and then ends up missing a step because he's not listening to the rider. The rider is above. The rider can see what's coming up. The horse cannot. And he's processing as I'm talking. So he, you get what's happening here. So what he needed to understand was his nose is where he needs to follow in order for his footfalls to be in his mind. So when he would go like this on the trail, he would then lose sight of where his feet needed to be. And as the rider, I'm up here and I see where his feet need to be. So it's important for me to guide his nose because he kept wanting to look and then every time he would do that, he would stumble and fall. He would get out of sync, mind footfall. That is the rider's responsibility. As the horseman, we must help our horses be mindful of their footfall so they have a graceful and solid footfall on the trail. When you have a horse that stumbles, you need to understand what's creating that. And that is a lack of connection. That is a horse that is trusting themselves more than the rider. So you, as a rider, you must take responsibility of that and help this horse gain the trust. Yes, gain the trust in the rider to listen. So you'll notice in the second, the, the second trail ride, the one on the 26th, he was much better. You'll see that, the connection that he and I made during that trail ride from the first to the second one, all the difference in the world. And it all has to do with our relationship and our connection and his trust in me. That had to be earned and gained and it happened. Yeah, I love you too. He just touched my shoulder. And then there's Mr. Jet Pants. Jet Pants! <laughs> Are you hiding behind the camera? You don't want to see? Now Jet, Jet is an interesting person. He's quite the wallflower. He'll come off like he's harsh and, and he's trying to move my feet. No, you don't get to do that. And he also just wants to be loved up on. Oh my goodness, he's the most insecure, fragile, Yet, don't mess with me. I'll pin my ears. I'll swish my tail and I'll lift my hoof at you. And <laughs> it's all displays of nothingness. I get that he's just a paper tiger. I know that. 
And so he doesn't scare me because I feel it, I sense it in him, that he means no harm. When he first came, he was a biter. He was a biter when I met him, when he was at his daddy's house, at Nakwa's house. He was naughty, but I knew what he needed. I knew who he was, and I was so excited that he got to come and live here so that we could connect and talk about this situation. We got on some dental work, we got on some good hoof care, and got this, this attitude understood. That's all, he just needed his attitude understood. And he's a fabulous guy. He's a fabulous horse. Both Foxy and Jet are unique and individual and wondrous people on their own. Horses, this is why we have them. There's a connection to them that is indescribable that we just fall in love with and connect with.